Hello everybody, welcome to the release video for the 1.4 release of Not Enough Updates. The first feature I'm going to showcase today was actually in the 1.3 release, but I never made a video about it, so not too many people know about it. Uh, the feature is NEU Rename. Uh, NEU Rename lets you rename uh, pretty much any weapon or unstackable item. Uh, and to use it, all you have to do is hold the item, type slash NEU Rename Set, and then the name of the weapon you want to set it to. So in this case, 3, three a, a, there you go. You can also change the uh, color code, uh, like so, and then it's green. Uh, if you want to clear it, uh, you type clear, uh, and yeah, here, here are all the available commands relating to that. Uh, is the custom trade menu. So um, this is a trade menu, and it has a couple of cool features. One of them is that it uh, essentially will attempt to order the items by uh, whichever one is the most valuable. So um, you see, I, uh, bank is in there. I put in infinite quiver. Infinite quiver is is at is at the top. I'd also tell you the total value on either side. Uh, there's also like a uh, trade cooldown here, um, an extra trade cooldowns. The next feature is going to be the custom skyblock menus. If you open up the skyblock menu, you'll see that there is a uh, custom menu here. Uh, so you have a different background, and all the icons are different. Uh, also, the shops are the same. Uh, wardrobe crafting table, etc. All these menus have uh, custom uh, backgrounds, and these backgrounds are actually dynamically generated. So even if Hypixel has a new background, it's going to automatically create it. Now, if you don't like how this menu looks, if you open up the NEU settings and go to the second page, uh, you'll see down the bottom there is Skullock menu background style and Skullock menu bun style. If you change these, you'll change the uh, texture, textures that are used to generate the menu. So background style changes to the background. Uh, these are some of the different styles and uh, button style changes the style of buttons, like so. Uh, and now if you don't like the custom menu, you want to disable it. If you set either of these to zero, it'll disable the feature entirely, so you can go back to uh, the, the normal Skyblock menu. Uh, and of course, you can change uh, all these textures, both of the textures, the background style and the button style, uh, using a texture pack. The next feature is going to be the ability to change the GUI and tree capitated colors. So if you jump into the settings over here and go to the third page, uh, you'll see four options at the top over here that you change the pain background color, item background color, item background favorite color, and the tree capitated overlay color. So if you jump into uh, this one here, you can see there's a color wheel, so you can go ahead and change. Uh, you want to, might want to bump up the opacity, probably not that high, but <laughs> you can change the color. Uh, you can change the brightness like so. You can also input a hex value if you want. Uh, if you hit this button over here, you'll be able to turn it into a chroma. Um, so right now, uh, it is on a 13 second chroma, so that means it will go through the entire uh, color wheel in 13 seconds. You can make it uh, slower if you want, uh, like so. You can make it really fast if you want by putting it way up to the top. Uh, so yeah, and, and same with every color, you can make it uh, make all these colors chroma. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's put this as something that looks normal. And I said you can also change the item background color, so if you want to make it uh, blue, like so. Uh, you can also change the favorite color, you might want to make it red. I need to hit, hit a button here to update it, and you see these um, become red. And lastly, you can also change the true capitator overlay. I have it on chroma right now, let me just bump that up uh, and demonstrate. And there you go, you have chroma true capitator color. Alright, the next feature which you might have already seen uh, is the dungeon block overlay. So you can see here there's a number of config options for changing the color of various things inside dungeons. So for example, you can change the color of cracked bricks, dispensers, levers, tripwires, chests, and bats. Um, let me just go to my island really quick. Uh, if you're onto the second page, I think, and you hit show dungeon block overlay everywhere, uh, it'll make it show everywhere, so you can kind of preview what it's going to look like. And as you can see, the cracked bricks over here and the levers have their colors changed. And yeah, if we can go and change it, we might want to make it dark blue. It takes about 10 seconds to update, just because of the way it's uh, cached for performance reasons. There you go, it updates. Now it's blue. Um, you also change uh, dispenser colors, lever colors, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea. Uh, the next feature isn't really a feature, but I've gone ahead and improved the NEU Auction House, uh, the way it loads items from my server. I've uh, upgraded my server thanks to my Patreon supporters. Uh, so now the Auction House should be far more reliable and miss items uh, far less. Uh, also to the NEU Auction House, I've also added the uh, this dungeon sorting. So you can, for example, sort by any dungeon item. So yeah, here you go, dungeon items, including uh, regular items that have been turned into dungeon items. 
Uh, you can also search for specific stars. So if you want to look for uh, five star items, uh, you can do so. See, these are all five star items. The next feature is the accessory bag overlay. So if you open up your accessory bag, uh, you'll see this overlay on the side here. Um, and if you go up to the top, uh, this first one gives you the number of talismans by rarity. So I have one legendary, four epic, etc. Uh, it also tells you the total stats um, that are given to you by talismans. and also gives you the total stats that come from reforgers. So uh, excluding the base stats of the talisman. Uh, next, uh, it will also give you a list of all the duplicates, including if you have a higher level one. Uh, the final tab here shows you all of the uh, talismans that you are missing. So right now it says I'm missing uh, 53. If I were to drop this beast must, SBA please. If I were to drop this beast must crest on the ground and open it back up, you'll see that it now says I'm missing 57. So the, the four rarities of this. Uh, this missing tab tries to order it. Uh, by the lowest price at the top and currently there's no way to scroll through it. I might add that in the future I don't know and the final feature is going to be the nest improvements to the item list So I've added uh, nested items. So for example this adaptive chest plate You can see both the normal version and the the livid bonus version. I think that is um, There's also different versions of vanilla items and if you go to enchanted books uh, you can see different uh, versions of the same enchanted books so uh, yeah, like the C4 and, and 6 and so on. Uh, I've also added a config option. If you don't want to see vanilla items, you can turn off show vanilla items and all the vanilla items will disappear. Uh, that's pretty much it for 1.4. Uh, aside from the major features that I discussed in this video, of course, there's a lot of uh, smaller bug fixes and improvements uh, that come along the way. Anyways, thanks for watching. See ya.